Hello, my name's Freya and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and it's really appreciated. So today I'm going to be using the Odin's Eye Alva 2 Mini Sky Palette. I've got a load of palettes I haven't used yet. A few Odin Eye, a few other ones, but today I thought, oh, I just really want to use this. So we have here six pans and we got four shimmers. This one's a double pan. And we've got these lovely like purples and the white there. And then we got a gorgeous like golden brown. And here we have two mattes, but they're like, you know, that matte with like the little tiny like sequins in, not like a full sequin, but the little specks of like glitter in there so usually with those they just dust away and it just looks like a mat so that's what i'm assuming with this so uh, what i'm gonna do is do a two looks one palette but doing two looks at the same time so this side i'm gonna do purple this side i'm gonna do brown and i haven't done blush i've just done my cream contour i haven't done any of the other like blush or highlight or anything like that because um i think i'm going to be using different blush and highlight on each side because of the different shades and um yeah so let's get into it okay so i've already primed my eyes with p louise base in rumor 01 and um let's get into this so i'm just gonna get rid of the protector there and I'm gonna use this uh, Lamora blending brush. And I'm going to take Cloud the Light Brown, like matte sequin shade. I'm just gonna run that sort of just above the socket, sort of crease, you know. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye, even though I'm using different shades. Obviously, all I gotta work with matte wise is these browns. So I'm really just doing different um shimmers. I'm gonna take that same shade just sort of on the tip this blending brush and run that underneath the lower lash lines now i'm just going to take this really like small flat brush it's a urban decay one i believe and i'm now going into dreamland that brown just tapping it and i'm just going to run that right up close to the lash line Colourpop E25 brush and I'm going to take Dreamland again on there, give it a tap. I'm just going to put that right into the socket. Going to get that first um, blending brush. Just blend these two together there. Um, now I want to do a cut crease. <laughs> I know I'm big for cut creases lately. I've been doing a few, but um, I just want to do a cut crease and use this Vanity Planet Just Flat brush. Take some concealer. I may not do a cut crease on this eye with the brown. I really don't know. But I definitely want to do it with the purple, so that's what I'm doing first. I'm just going to take some of that. I'm just using the NYX Born to Glow concealer. OK, 
okay so i'm just using the other side of it there just uh pat that on the end here so it's not so harsh a hey shady beauty bay brush and i'm going to take the white it's like um, a white lilac sort of shimmer and it is called illusion so i'm just going to start that all oh, wow i don't know whether you could see that oh my god that is beautiful it's gone over a bit there Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Not even sprayed it. that I'm just gonna um get that blending brush for a minute mmm it's lovely I will try and clean it up a little bit with um a different brush in a bit so um oh look you know I said this was a shimmer it actually looks like a satin yeah it's a satin wow didn't know that so i might use that in a minute but now i'm taking the shimmer this other purple and i'm just gonna take a little off. i'm just getting that on the same brush i just wipe the brush and i'm just gonna place this here that honestly looked like it was a shimmer to me to begin with it's more pink, this purple. Mm. Just putting on quite a few layers. Obviously, I'm not sprayed it. Not everybody likes to spray their brushes, and I get that, so doing it without. So now I'm getting illusion again. I'm just gonna use that just to blend these two together. So I'm gently swiping. Oh, wow. That is really nice. <laughs> that is really nice. So, you know what? I'm going to use this small ColourPop E28 brush. And I'm just going to see if I could take off that shimmer where I went a bit over not so much but that's okay because I'm going to take that purple light which is this satin which um you know I thought was a shimmer it's not and I'm just going to use that to go around the cut crease Not on this brush, I can't get precise with this brush. So I'm just going to use this Vanity Planet smudging brush. It's got a point on it and it's quite precise. And that just looks like it will be perfect. Just outlining it really. 
get them right for the inner corner there. And then I'm going to take some of that on this brush. I'm just going to tap it on the end there. Oof. And I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to put it over what I put underneath. Sometimes you just change your mind and this is easy to cover up. Oh, that's gorgeous. So I'm actually going to take that um, Colourpop E28 brush because it's really tiny. It's like just a tiny blending brush. And I'm going to just gently go around these edges. Blending. It's a good job I put powder down. I'm getting a bit of fallout. For the inner corner, I'm actually just going to do that with highlight and like bring that down in that little gap I like to leave for shimmers or highlights. So let's get on to um, the other lid. And uh, this one I am going to take Colourpop E22 blending brush and I'm going to take Dew, that uh, golden shimmer and um, I'm gonna put it on using the blending brush because I have run out of brushes well packing brushes anyway and I'm just gonna put that all over oh, that is so nice Oh, that is beautiful. So what, I'm just going to put a little bit under as well. Going all around the eye. Why not? Why not? So I'm just using my Sigma Switch just to wipe off excess shadow. And now I'm just going to go around blending here mm. I love that I'm now going to use the same blending brush and I'm taking dreamland that brown <sighs> giving it a tap and I am just going to use that just uh, blend around just add a bit more depth there it's kind of gone a bit everywhere but you know i wasn't wanting to be precise or anything mm, that is nice just want a different quick look you know so using the sigma switch oh i love that okay so i've just put some highlight on um i just did the rest of my contour in and i use gnome highlight this is the odin's eye alva 2 highlight palette I use Gnome on this side here and here and here and I use Scythe, I don't know how to say that one, it's this purpley shade which I've used here, here and here and on the lips. Now um, I thought I may as well just do the rest here quickly with you. Um, I think I'll do eyelashes off camera 
you know, mascara, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just going to use that Vanity Planet smudging brush. I've wiped it clean already. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to take uh, this one here. Self Safe. <gasps> that one on there. I'm just going to sort of scratch a bit. Give it a spray. And I'm just going to put that right in the corner here and drag it down to meet. Sorry guys. I'm just putting it here and dragging it down. Oh, that goes so well. If I was wanting it more contained there, in the inner corner then I would definitely use a smaller brush but as I'm going fairly big with it anyway I just thought I use this one why dirty up more brushes when you don't have to so there's that one done now I've just wiped it with Sigma Switch taking Gnome scrushing at that as before using the cover effects setting spray I'm going to put this here. I'm also going to use Odin's Eye Lipsticks. The blush I use, so sorry, I use this blush here which is the Water Lily Alva Flower Blusher by Odin's Eye. So I thought why don't I just use as many Odin's Eye products as I can. So other than uh, my face powder cream contour contour and foundation and concealer this is basically all Ada's eye why not would i call it a full face of Aiden's eye i suppose so yeah that is great really like that i'm just using huda beauty lip contour in Flirt. Okay, so the lips are lined. Fantastic. So I've got two lips here, two lip colours. I have Love Jasmine, which is the first one I got, which is this lighter one. And I have Velvet Lipstick in fig jam which is darker so i'm going darker here lighter here so i'll first um put this one on so this is the cream lipstick in love jasmine really love odin's eyes lips lip products this is the cream lipstick Now this is Fig Jam and this is a velvet lipstick and I'm putting that on this side. Wow. Thinking I should have done the other way around. I thought this was darker. I haven't used it for a long time so this should have gone on this side. This should have gone on that side. So you know what guys? I am going to be very careful because I don't want to line my lips again. I'm just going to use a cotton bud to take it off. So Love Jasmine which is yeah, the lighter going on this side. I mean, that has stained a little bit, so it is looking a bit dark. It's okay. So, that is the 
brown side done. And now let's do the purple. I should have remembered because last time when I got this I thought it was really dark brown. And then when I put it on I was like, oh, it's red. <laughs> mm. Okay, I've gone a little bit over there, but it's all right. It's fine. So that is the blush, highlight, everything done except for lashes. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to wear lashes. I don't know. Maybe I should use that million mascara because that is really good. Sometimes I don't feel like putting lashes on. I really don't. It depends. We'll see how um, this does. So this is the Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal. It seems to work fine before. I mean, of course, not as big and as false lashes. I remember when I just used to be always after the best mascara because I would just want that really big sort of lash. And now that I'm so used to wearing false lashes, even when I get a big lash, it doesn't seem as good as what it used to be because I'm so used to having the bigger lash, you know? Crazy. Nearly forgot eyeliner too. Just put a load of coats on. See if I could get away without lashes today. I've gone a little bit onto my lid with the mascara. But not too bad. You know what? These look great. A bit clumpy, a bit spider like. I actually like clumpy and spider lashes. Not real clumpy, of course, but you know what I mean. Okay, gorgeous. Right, eyeliner, and then that's it. So this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Noir, which is just black. I'm just going to put this in the waterline. This is by far the best black eye pencil I found. Not only is it really like black and you know intense but it goes on nicely, it is waterproof, it will last all day. It doesn't shift. It's wonderful. It's just really comfy to apply as well. You do get a little smudger on the end of it, although I only think I've only ever used it once. I really love this. I love this look. And okay, I'll probably look nuts, you know, because all different colours, but I love it. I'm just going to spray my face because I've used a lot of powder today and I'm using the Pore Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Setting Spray. Mm. Okay, 
okay so this is the finished look this is this side and this is this side two looks one palette wow i love this i am so glad that i done this today okay so i have two different looks two different eye looks but you know what i'm gonna wear it all day i love it it's uh different love to be different so first impressions of this palette it's odin's eye what can i say they do not disappoint ever and i believe this is like their first collection they did was the alva like alva 2 or i guess because it's alva 2 it must be like the second collection but it's the first one i bought along with their bigger palette oh they're all the way out there i'm not going to reach them but i i've had this for months probably about eight months maybe more and i've just never used it i think i got lipstick on my too yeah yeah I've just never used it and um, I wish I had earlier to be honest it's gorgeous it's lovely the shimmers wow I didn't have to spray my brush I didn't have to use glitter glue it just went on and really strong and wow those shimmers are amazing did I say glitter I might have done I meant shimmers they are amazing the mattes perform well as per usual and great you know it's really nice to use the alva to highlight palette alongside this for the eyes and for the face and then for blush the uh, alva flower blusher in water lily which is quite dark but it goes on beautifully and then of course the two lipsticks i am so happy with this look um yeah i i really didn't i keep getting lipstick on my chief please ignore that i'll wipe that off soon but uh yeah i'm just gonna put one of these on later or probably just a lip balm because if i'm at home which i am today i don't normally you know uh, wear lipstick it's just lip balms lip masks anything to hydrate my lips so um, yeah, really love this. So here is the finished look. Again, looks. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye. Bye guys. Bye-bye.